Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're joining us from worldwide. I'm Sterling. It's great to have you back on the channel. Uh, this show is being recorded for Sunday, September 29th, 2024, but actually being recorded on Saturday, September 28th, 2024. Uh, as always, these shows are provided for entertainment purposes only. All the information I share with you comes directly real time through my guides, angels, Extended spiritual counsel, ETs, famous people from history, so for entertainment purposes only. Also, for those who need to reach me, go to sterlingpsychicmedium.com. Look for the book a session tab. It's very easy and straightforward from there. And I think there's uh, session openings now in March, April, and May of 2025. So on that note, it's great to be back with everybody here as well. You know, we gather questions for these shows from our community board. We put out requests on Mondays. That's on our YouTube channel, the community board. And I, I noticed that uh, we had 444 questions this week. So it's kind of a magic uh, number in numerology. Uh, but I think my wife then goes through them and she got it down to like 80 questions this week. So I answered them for you real time here. But I thought it was interesting we had 444 questions on the community board. So, without any further delay, let's get going on the top countdown then for today, uh, the top 80 questions. Question 80, will any of the people trying to overrule the U.S. voters be charged with any crimes, or do they all just get away with it? Well, there's about uh, about a dozen elected officials here involved in uh, election, uh, I don't call it scams, but, you know, uh, crimes against uh, election process. And I do see all of them uh, going through lengthy trials and, and actually getting some prison time. So there's about a dozen of them uh, across a number of states here. Uh, but by and large, you know, there are obviously there are hundreds of people involved sometimes in some of these uh, election subversion issues. So uh, by and large, a lot of elected officials here looks like they're going to go through trials and some prison time. 79. How will the debate between J.D. Vance and Tim Walls go? Who will win? I get this is going to be like a complete draw, which means that both sides will claim victory, uh, not going to have a big material effect on the overall presidential election. Uh, but it's uh, it's going to be an interesting debate, but it's going to be a draw. No real overall effect uh, on the election, the presidential election itself. 79. I'm sorry, 78. Hello, Sterling and Guides. I live in northern Michigan district, represented by a twice-elected extreme MAGA named Jack Bergman, has the tide turned enough against uh, MAGA that the Democratic candidate, a young female lawyer named uh, Kali, is a Kali Barr, will be victorious in the November election? Uh, it does not appear that uh, Kali Barr will win the election, uh, what they're telling me. 77. Are the majority of the senators fighting for 45 so hard because 45 has information on them. I know you've said there's no such thing as coincidences uh, to just follow the money trail and ask what someone has to gain. I keep coming back to basically some sort of blackmail. Can you tell us if any of this is the case? Well, I mean, there's a large network of compromised individuals in government that have uh, that have engaged in activities, uh, nefarious activities, uh, that are causing things to be held over their heads. So there are a lot of compromised individuals. I'll be careful here for entertainment purposes only. Uh, but by and large, a lot of this is going to come out in the press and the media. In a, in the year 2026, probably start seeing some of it leak out 2025, uh, but a, a, like a big landslide of information coming out in 2026. And, and so anyway, these compromised individuals have loyalty to, for example, 45 and, and groups surrounding 45. 76, what will be the outcome and political fallout be for the leaders of the Haitian group, uh, Haitian Bridge Alliance in Springfield, Ohio, for filing citizens, uh, citizen criminal charges against 45 and J.D. Vance? I do see it's going to result in a legal case and a trial. Uh, but because of some compromised judges or something here, 
Um, it's not really going to go, it's not going to lead to prison time or any major financial penalties, but it is going to go to trial. But I, I do see some compromised judges here that are kind of going to sway uh, sway the actual outcome, you know, kind of in favor of 45 and J.D. Vance. I, I don't think anything bad, it doesn't look like anything bad is going to come towards this organization where they call it the, ha the Haitian Bridge Alliance. So they're shining a spotlight on an issue which needs to have a... a a spotlight shined on it, but um, that looks like the outcome to me is that in the end, there's some uh, compromised judges and not going to really uh, put any kind of big penalties on either 45 or JD Vance. 75 high Sterling uh, mayor of New York city. Eric Adams was just indicted on federal charges. Will he be sent to prison and are these real charges or a conspiracy, as he proclaimed? You know, I read on this, um, and we put a hot off the press on our community board. Um, I read on Mayor Eric Adams uh, November of last year. Was it November? Yeah, 2023, I think it was. No, I'm sorry, I got to go back in my memory banks here. It might have been April or May of this year. Um, but what, what came out on that was that he was going to be convicted. Uh, and in fact, I don't recall the exact date, but it's up on our community board. I always have my office team look up where we talked about it, what the time code was. But I saw at that time that um, he would be indicted and convicted and ac actually served some prison time here. So it's very unfortunate. And they're giving me like a dozen colleagues, like 12 different colleagues um, that will also be roped up into this as well. 74, thank you, Sterling and team. My question involves a China-based company called uh, Goshan, G-O-T-I-O-N, Goshan, it looks like Inc., a $2.4 billion uh, electric vehicle materials battery plant that's going to be built in Green Charter Township, uh, Big Rapids, Michigan area. Uh, it was part of the Biden-Harris plan to bring manufacturing back to Michigan. Uh, it is tearing our town apart by a very small group of conspiracy people Will Goshen build this plant and supply the jobs to our locals as promised? So it appears that there's some sort of a conflict of interest going on here between this Chinese-based manufacturer and some people in government in this Michigan area. It looks like it's going to get resolved, and it looks like they're going to, whatever's going on in the government here in Michigan, they're going to put kind of an oversight committee over this project. It looks like within two years, it's going to be built or start to be built here. It looks like real estate's already been purchased or something. Uh, but I see an oversight committee coming because there's some sort of a conflict of interest going on um, is what they're telling me. 73, antibiotics, which no longer work, is a serious global issue and forecast the deaths of 39 million people between 2025 and 2050. Will science and new technology be able to find solutions to this problem and create new antibiotics faster than usual? You know, what I see is that here, here CRISPR technology, which is gene editing technology, is going to be able to create what I call like reverse bacteria, bacteria resistance. So it's almost like approaching problems from a different direction. Um, so th there's, there's some genetic engineering that's going to be going on here over the next few years. Looks like by 2034, about 10 years out. Um, these genetic engineered drugs will be available. So it, it's, I guess it's, I'm not a doctor, I was going to say that, but it tackles the problem kind of a different direction than what antibiotics do. So it's almost like getting ahead of the train, so to speak. 72, it was leaked that in the past few days, Congress was briefed about multiple objects they have been monitoring through the James Webb Telescope and are headed towards Earth from deep in space. They are intelligently controlled, and they are currently 0.9 light years away. Is there some kind of event uh, that is going to happen with this? Well, I mean, nothing different than full disclosure. We talk about full disclosure for extraterrestrials over the next couple of years here happening worldwide. Um, you know, this is only a small microcosm of the number of intelligently controlled objects that are in outer space. So the James Webb Telescope is picking up on a few of them, but this is like a very small fractional percentage of the number of objects that are in outer space. So there's nothing that is overly uh, dramatic about this other than it's all leading to a full disclosure and that, you know, the world's going to understand what this is all about. 71. 
With gene editing technology, CRISPR, if you have a disease like multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's and you have a gene editing procedure and then have children, will your children receive the edited gene or the original gene, including uh, the disease? Uh, the answer is it's different in every circumstance. And the reason is that when we set out our life path blueprint, we actually create certain scenarios in our life, including some diseases. That's actually part of our life path. So if on your life path is meant to have some particular disease, you'll have that. Um, if you're meant to benefit from gene editing, you will. So it, it really all lies out in what the blueprint is you lay out for your life. Now, uh, medical advances, a lot of them being brought by extraterrestrials, like gene editing technology, um, will help the masses of humanity in, in general. But specifically to this person's question, a lot depends on the life path blueprint uh, that each person comes down with. So it's not just, there's not just a one standard answer for that. 70. Will Democrat Gabe Vasquez, looks like from New Mexico's 2nd District, be reelected this November? Yes, it appears he will win re-election. 69. When will full disclosure happen with the Epstein files? In the year 2026. 68. Will there be constraints put on medical, vehicle, and property insurance rates? Insurance rates are rising dramatically while the policies are covering less. The insurance industry is making record profits. Will there be oversight and action taken on these companies to ease the financial stress for consumers? You know, I, I do see uh, new congressional laws coming in um, that are going to help insurance companies. So it's almost what they call like reinsurance companies, like insurance companies for insurance companies. So that'll help mitigate some of the rates for insurance. And I also see um, like like limit, limiting cost, but also kind of defining levels of coverage too. So the government's going to get involved here. And here it looks like in about the second year of the Harris term that's coming up here, like 2026, um, that a lot of this is going to come into play. So a couple of mechanisms coming into the insurance industry, and they're asking about medical vehicle property insurance. You know, uh, in the medical insurance side, there's going to be much more revenue coming in the system from corporate minimum tax rates. So that's going to help supplant some of the medical insurance. But each of these has a little bit different uh, sector in the way they're going to be handled. But I do see the federal government getting involved with some sort of limitation on rates, also bringing in then reinsurance companies to back up insurance companies to help mitigate some costs for insurance companies, and also defining levels of coverage in a good way. 67, Sterling and team. When will travel become faster and cheaper? Currently, a journey from New Zealand to Ireland takes about 24 hours plus stopover time. When will long travel times and the massive expenses of long distance travel become a thing of the past? You know, within two decades, we're going to have uh, a lot of supersonic aircraft available, uh, much like what the Concorde was. So the Concorde and these new aircraft will fly at Mach 2. It's like over, you know, two times uh, the speed of sound. That's like 1,350 miles per hour. That's Mach 2. Um, so that's really going to greatly decrease. But the reason that supersonic aircraft are going to come into play is new engine, new propulsion technology that's more efficient. So my, my team's saying within two decades, you'll see uh, proliferation of a lot of very fast aircraft, uh, efficient aircraft using new propulsion technology, and, and that that's going to speed up uh, the process and travel time. 66, Sterling, does your gift run in your family? Did your parents recognize you had the gift? No, interesting enough, the gift doesn't run in my family. Um, there's nobody that I knew in my family or ancestry that, let's say, utilized the gift. My mother um, always called herself highly intuitive. And, um, and and I know now that she was uh, highly psychic. Uh, but it, it's, she didn't really use it. And uh, it's kind of interesting. So it wasn't really talked about a lot. Uh, but it doesn't really run in the family. My family, I'm really the first one that I know of in my kind of my lineage um, that's really doing kind of this work in this way. But yeah, it's a good question. People always ask that. 65. Uh, Hi, Sterling. Did the extraterrestrials blow up Putin's four 
out of five missile attempts to launch his Russian intercontinental missiles. Yes, uh, this is all part of Pleiadian teamwork. So they actually made that happen. 64, hello, Sterling and team. I've noticed that most of all the people or popular public figures standing for disclosure and pushing ET-related information are on the right side of politics. Uh, prominent disclosure figures like uh, is it Russ cool, uh, Coolthart, Dr. Michael Sala, Sean, uh, Ryan, I'm sorry, Joe Rogan, and even Lou Elizondo. Why do you think that most public figures and politicians pushing for full disclosure on the right? Um, I don't see this being the case. Actually, I see a very balanced approach to uh, people talking about UAPs, UFOs, full disclosure so i don't i don't have the same uh observation nor does my team uh full disclosure is going to happen across all sectors of politics and population and races and humanity it's it's actually a very well balanced approach so so i'm, I'm not uh, my team is not saying that it looks like it's all just on the right 63 hello sterling and team was the second 45 assassination attempt the real deal or was it staged my team's saying they're all they're all the real deal and not staged. Now I do see that uh, certain individuals or groups, you know, took advantage of the situation, and let's say tried to exploit it in a different way. But they were they were truly dangerous situations that weren't staged um, by people that were uh, relatively crazy in a lot of areas. Um, so uh, my team's saying not staged. Sixty two. What do your guides see for the future of the city of New Orleans? The city is struggling with climate change home insurance costs, and economic and political dysfunction. Does the city have a positive future or is it in permanent decline? You know, unfortunately, over the next two decades here, it looks like this area of the U.S. is really going to get into significant decline here. A lot of it's due to climate change, and it's just going to be a very rough road. So um, it looks like, for me, perpetual decline over the next two decades here. It's unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, the earth does shift and move, and um, there's just a lot of factors here. They're going to put that area into kind of perpetual decline. 61, hello, Sterling and team. When will there be an available cure for osteoarthritis? 2034, using CRISPR gene editing technology. Now, it looks to be like they're already making, scientists are already making progress in some areas, uh, uh, testing with animals. 60, Dear Sterling and team, will there be a cure for advanced stage of adolescent idiopathic scoliosis, AIS, that affects teenagers? You know, I get this is um, not just genetic, but there's like environmental factors here. So scientists are going to be identifying the environmental factors along with the genetic factors. And it looks like by 2036, which is like 12 years out, there's going to be some good cures in this area also based on gene editing. But it's important that there's like an environmental factor here. So I think even with the genetic uh, component, it's understanding what environmental factors are contributing to it. Could be um, air quality, water quality, food, something of that nature here. It's all coming together for a solution. 59, thank you, Sterling and team. Do ETs have souls, soul contracts, life reviews, et cetera, like Homo sapiens sapiens? Do they reincarnate as animals and humans? Yes, they all have souls, life path, life reviews. They reincarnate, all, all very similar. Uh, they never reincarnate as animals. I think we're asking about animals. Um, now, with one exception, uh, if you started out, if your soul started out millions of years ago as an extraterrestrial, some extra, extraterrestrials do take on a human uh, reincarnation only to kind of help humanity. But the opposite doesn't occur. If millions of years ago you start out as, as a human or part of humanity, uh, it wasn't called Homo sapiens sapien then. That's the most advanced form of humanity now. But if you start out in a human form, you, you don't transfer to extraterrestrial form. So that's probably the one nuance there in this question. Um, now, 58. Hi, Sterling and team. I was listening to your show and thought to myself, I needed to ask about when I was in extreme distress many years ago and heard a voice in my head speak to me and essentially remove the distress. 
I would sometimes wonder who this was. In the minutes after thinking about this question, I heard your response to another question, which resonated with me, and I feel my question was answered and that it was my birth angels. Was this a coincidence, or does the other side answer us by answering through someone else? Yes, so in your case, this is one of your birth angels talking with you, and it's very, very common. All these shows we do, including the live streams that we do um, on Fridays under the Platinum membership, many times it's a shared experience. So an answer that someone else receives may resonate with you. That's kind of the way the universe works. Um, it's a very common experience. I, I hear about this all the time. People report this. Or even on these shows, a question gets answered that someone didn't think to ask, and it's an answer they needed. So this is very much a shared experience. It's your guides and angels also working through you. 57, there are so many healing modalities, Reiki, uh, reconnection, touch for health, et cetera. Do they all work the same with the same energy from source or are they different in power? How do they work? Um, they, all, they all use the same principle of channeling energy, focusing energy uh, from the universe, from the one source, the one force. Uh, now, a lot of this has to do with the skill of the healer. It's like it's like being a musician, right? Some musicians can play fundamentally very well. Others have tremendous skill, and they play before 40,000 people. It's you know, levels of skill. So think about this like a magnifying glass. If you use a magnifying glass to focus the sun's energy, like on the sidewalk, uh, depending on the size of the magnifying glass or how you use it, it'll focus more of the energy or not. Uh, that's a similar concept we're talking about here. All these healing modalities focus energy and healing energy from guides, angels, the one source, the one force. And that's kind of the skill of the healer and using their specific craft as to kind of well how well it works or how well they can uh, give off the energy and then how well it's received by the patient. 56. Sterling, you mentioned that we are moving into a digital economy. Can you clarify a digital economy? Yeah, so we're, we're going to move into more of what I call digital currency, not cryptocurrency. Now, cryptocurrency has no centralized banking system. There are no controls or insurance on depo deposits. But we'll have a global digital currency uh, that will be have central banking functions uh, that will be backed up and insured. Um, and so the entire world is moving into a new digital currency. doesn't mean everybody's going to lose their money. I want to be clear there. Um, there'll be a gradual transition. But, you know, much the same way that people use electronic banking now and credit cards and ATM cards, be moving into a digital currency. It's far more efficient. It will actually be safer uh, by the use of blockchain technology. That's distributed ledger technology. So, yeah, we're um, a lot of what you're going to be seeing here, we're moving away from physical money into digital currency and not cryptocurrency. 55, will the government ever crack down on the scammers that steal from people's bank accounts, especially the elderly? Um, you know, I, I see they've already started. They've already started to put together new systems. And I also see artificial intelligence coming into the scam area. It's already starting to be used. So you can uh, tell in advance uh, what sort of transactions are going on in the banking systems and where they're coming from, and how money's moving around. So artificial intelligence is going to be a wonderful tool that will augment uh, creating more safe environments. Take a few years for all this to roll out. But um, AI is going to be very supportive in many, many areas of, um, of our lives. Uh, it's coming. I know some people are concerned about artificial intelligence, but it really is a tool that's going to benefit humanity in the long run in many areas. So not just in banking or fraud protection, but also in uh, understanding, uh, doing fact checking on news or even helping with creative aspects of, of creating content. 54. Do these solar flares of the last few weeks and months affect humans' evolutionary progress? No, uh, nothing whatsoever. Uh, solar flares are uh, magnetic energy released like from the sun, and they've been going on for thousands if not millions of years. Um, many times we refer to these as CME events, uh, coronal mass ejections. 
and uh, they come in different magnitudes. They're ongoing, but doesn't necessarily. It, it does have a, a. It releases magnetic waves to the Earth. Yes, yeah, so it's like a destabilizing wind or something on nature, but it doesn't prevent your evolution. I think, and that's the question here. Um, everybody will continue to evolve very nicely here. Um, that's looks like having a strong wind hit you, and actually. You know, some of these magnetic field pulses coming to CME events from the sun will knock out some networks here on Earth. They certainly knock out satellite communications, but, you know, maybe for days at a time or less. Um, so it, it, it's all part of the way the, the Earth and the world are working here, the universe. 53. Hello, Sterling and team. I am a massage therapist. She said, I am a massage therapist who uses... Uh, craniosacral therapy to calm the nervous systems of my clients. I find that no matter how distressed my client is, they become very still when I begin to help them to regulate the cerebrospinal fluid. Okay. Sometimes I will get an emotional response while working with a client, but no one seems to know why this is the case. In fact, uh, Talk therapists have begun to send clients to uh, craniosacral therapists. I'm wondering if, if you can tell me how and why this practice helps to remove trauma from the body. Will this practice become a widely accepted way of healing trauma in the body? Yeah, I mean, this all has to do with pent-up emotions in the body, and they, they actually uh, tend to aggregate around meridians in the body. So that's what you're feeling. It also feels like you're feeling some of this emotion. You're somewhat claircognizant. Now I have a knowingness, but you're also clairsentient. So look, claircognizant, a knowingness, and clairsentient, we can sense certain things. So you're, you're feeling this energy coming uh, through you, and it's releasing certain um, pent-up energies, pent-up emotions in certain meridians of the body. And you're asking, will the practice become more widely accepted? Absolutely. As we start to move uh, from a westernized medicine approach to an easternized medicine approach, so kind of east meets west, a lot of this is going to be very well-accepted practice. 52, hi, Sterling and team. Will there be any new treatments for gum recession and bone loss within the next 10 to 20 years? Yes, 100% within 10 to 15 years, probably a little faster. And I see they've already been uh, running tests and doing some animal testing, uh, scientists have, and making very good progress in this area. And it's using gene editing technology. 51, what is the future of remote work? Many companies are forcing workers back into the office up to five days a week. Uh, within five years here, there's going to be more of a hybrid workforce approach. So it looks like you know the pendulum swings back and forth. So it looks like they're like individual contributors that don't really need to be around necessarily large teams. They'll work more efficiently on their own. There's going to be a, a hybrid within five years here. So it'll be a, we'll move more towards some uh, some in-person work environments back in the office. And then another chunk of time, like during the week, will be uh, in home office, something like that. So a little bit of a pendulum swinging back and forth here. But it will be because he's uh, the biggest force is that individual contributors look like they'll do better work when they're at the home office uh, than when they're in the office in a team environment. 50. Are guardian angels and birth angels one and the same, or are they different? My team always calls the angels that travel with you birth angels. Now, some people call them guardian angels. That's fine. Not to be confused with spiritual guides. That's a separate thing. Uh, guardian angels or birth angels are assigned to you for life, and they keep you on the planet if it's not your exit point. Working spiritual guides were individuals that walked the planet one time, sometimes thousands of years ago, risen through a lot of reincarnations, have great skills and uh, functional areas, you know, business accounting, health, healing. Uh, so anyway, yeah, two different topics. But for this question, are guardian angels and birth angels one the same? Yeah, I think people use those terms. Uh, they interspose them. But, you know, uh, my team always uses the term birth angels. 49, hi, Sterling and team, sending love and light to all. Will there be a cure and when for retinitis uh, pigmentosa? It is currently an incurable disease that causes blindness. Um, I see that actually CRISPR technology has already been used to develop or identify the genes uh, that are creating this problem. 
And uh, it, it, so there's good progress being made here. You know, every time I look at a number of diseases, I see that CRISPR gene editing is is either like 10 years or 12 years or 15 years kind of thing away from, from having real cures. So this particular one, it looks like scientists have already identified the genes causing this problem, and then that allows them to kind of reverse engineer and develop the vaccines. Uh, first treatments will be here in about 10 years for this. 48, I know our souls are infinite, okay, but will they ever cease to exist? Well, no, I mean, souls are essentially energy, and energy cannot be created or destroyed. Uh, certainly the one source, the one force, had a role in put, in taking components of energy and creating souls. That's all very true. But souls are inherently energy, uh, and even when you get to the other side, you still look like yourself, but you're, you're composed of energy, and energy cannot be created or destroyed, so they won't cease to be exist, No. Uh, 46, high sterling, I'm sorry, 47. Uh, it was just announced in the news that New York Representative Anthony D. Esposito, one of the GOP's most endangered House incumbents, reportedly gave both his lover and his fiancée's daughter part-time jobs in his district office on Long Island, uh, potential violation of health ethics rules. Will this trigger... His resignation is triggering a change in the speaker leadership. Um, it does look like this is going to cause a resignation. So if something coming up here, it's going to cause a resignation. Um, and it will help lead to the new Speaker of the House, which looks to be Hakeem Jeffries. Now, it's not going to happen before the election, but it, it looks like it, does gonna, it is going to trigger a resignation here is what they're telling me. 46, hi Sterling, since we are all star seeds, how do we know what ET race we are from? So uh, let, let me kind of give some detail on this question. We all start out as star seeds. That means that we all, all of our souls or energetic cells started out in a specific star system. It doesn't mean you start out as an extraterrestrial. So I, we were kind of talking about that earlier. Some souls start out as humans. Some start out as extraterrestrials. It's kind of a, it's a choice there. Uh, but in order to determine what star system you're from, I think you may have to consult um, the psychic medium of your choice. That's not something you'll probably be able to look up very easily. That requires kind of looking at the Akashic records and where you started out millions of years ago. 45. Hello, Sterling and team. I grew up in Puerto Rico in the 70s where there is a rainforest called, is it El Yunque? It looks like Yunque. Uh, Y-U-N-Q-U-E. Uh, Yunque. Many have said that this rainforest is the site of extraterrestrial abductions because many people disappeared there, never to be found again. Is there or was there ever an ET base in Puerto Rico? I don't get any ET bases on land, but I get about three ET bases offshore in the ocean. Uh, it looks like a lot of UAP uh, and UFO sightings have occurred, but they're telling me no in this particular rainforest, uh, no, actually no extraterrestrial bases, but offshore, kind of in the ocean there, there's like three different bases. 44, hello, Sterling. You've mentioned many times that the Akashic Records contain information on the past, present, and future. Does this mean that a psychic can view information about an individual's future lives, or does the information being presented in the Akashic Records reflect the future of our present incarnation? Well, no. I mean, if you're skilled enough and you're working with a large enough team on the other side, uh, reading the Akashic Records does contain all information in the universe for past, present, and future for everyone, every entity. So effectively, you can read future lives. Now, the one caveat is that you know information is always meant to help. So if there's information on a future life that will be helpful to you in this life, uh, you, it may be shared with you. If it's not helpful or eliminate the lessons you're supposed to learn in this life, it really probably won't be shared with you. But a lot of, a lot of psychic mediums, when they're reading the Akashic Records, you can see all that information. 43, how is sending love and light to another beneficial? Is there a way to make the sending of love and light more potent? Is there a benefit to the person who is sending it? Can love and light be sent to all humanity? How effective is sending love and light to such a large number of people? 
Well, uh, when, when you send love and light to anybody or anything, uh, first off, it's all based on intention. So the, the, the pureness of your intention, how you're aligning with that energy, your angels and guides, how you're moving the energy out there, it's all very helpful. It's like sending a cool breeze to somebody to relax them, to help them. Yes, it helps the universe. It helps individual people. It helps you. Um, it, it's really allowing that loving energy from the one source, the one force to move through you out to others. So you're becoming like a magnifier of that energy. So when you send love and light, you're magnifying that loving energy. And, and as it comes through you, it makes you feel better and it helps anybody that receives it. 42, hello, Sterling and team. I'd like to know if Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin will win her Senate race. Looks like Tammy Baldwin will win. That's what they're telling me. 41, I've seen a video of something, not sure what it is, known as the Fresno Nightcrawler. Kind of looks like a walking wishbone. Any info you can provide would be appreciated. Um, I, I got this is not real. This is kind of folklore uh, that, that's come up around this and maybe due to some optical effects or people's camera images or camera uh, something like people thought they saw something like an optical artifact in a camera and it kind of and kind of folklore grew around it, but not real. 40, hello, Sterling. Can you read yourself from a psychic perspective? Yes, in many cases, but you're never prevented from learning a life lesson. So if the information would prevent you from learning a life lesson, you're really not allowed to see it. So you can never shortcut the life lessons. We are all in school down here while we're in Earth. We are all in school every day we're here. 39, is there a connection between Sean Combs and Epstein, and will this involve 45? For entertainment purposes only, uh, stay tuned. Uh, yes, absolutely. 38, will President Biden make Election Day a federal holiday before he leaves office? No, it does not appear that he will. 37, hi, Sterling and team. If teleportation exists, why don't ETs use it instead of portals and anti-gravity propulsion systems? Wouldn't teleportation be the fastest way to travel to Earth? from their home planets. Uh, so these concepts are not mutually exclusive. Uh, they, they, it's like either or, it's not just either or, sometimes together. So teleportation is not always required. Uh, extraterrestrials, many of them are interdimensional. You can move through portals. And sometimes uh, using other types of technology like teleportation, where it's actually like a deconstruction of a molecular uh, composition of yourself and then recollection, reformation, not always required. It's almost analogous to short-term versus long-term travel. So um, uh, moving through portals, you don't always have to use what's called teleportation, uh, but teleportation is a specific type of technology. 36, for the past couple of years, I hear chatter in my house. It is somewhat faint, and I can't understand what is being said, but it's as if there are more than one voice, maybe up to five, that seem to differentiate from each other. It's like conversations you hear when you are in a restaurant, I now hear it nearly constantly, and at times it is louder than usual. I have an occasion, I have on occasion seen a glimpse of people, but no one I recognize. Can you tell me what is going on? These are family members in your house surrounding you. The family members are trying to connect with you, but I understand it can be kind of uh, disruptive for your daily life. So you can tell them to back off or stop it. But they're, they're, these are family, loving family members that are trying to come around you, and they're, they're kind of following you around. 35. I, Sterling and team, a few years ago, I learned Gene Hainer's, or Hainer, I guess Hainer's method of energy clearing. I have since done numerous clearings on family and friends. I have no idea if this has been helpful to them. Is energy clearing real and have my clearings had any effect? Uh, yes, I mean, energy clearing is real. It's a way of uh, clearing out pent-up energy. Sometimes, you know, people can carry residual energy. Uh, houses, homes, uh, locations can have residual energy uh, imprints. So, yes, uh, I don't know a lot about Gene Hayner's method, but um, energy clearing is a thing. It also kind of dovetails a little bit in a tangential way to feng shui, you know, having energy move very well through environments. But energy clearing does help. 
Uh, I always say that, you know, saging an environment is like a, aromatherapy on steroids. Sometimes that really is helpful. But yes, it looks like your work has been very helpful. So congratulations for the good work you're doing, whoever asked this question. 34 high sterling and team. Will there ever be veterinary price control when it comes to our pets? No price controls, but new forms of pet insurance, uh, new ways of funding it, uh, more of a, a better equilibrium between insurance and uh, pet insurance and medical costs. So no price controls, because uh, it looks like we're still going to want to be in a free market society, so to speak. Uh, but a better balance and equilibrium between pet care, the cost, and insurance and insurance premiums around pets. So it'll be more affordable to the masses. 33, high ceiling and team. Can you give us more information on the types of spiritual orbs that visit us, such as why some are bright, some are dim, and many are different sizes? Uh, it's come up before, but orbs come in many, many different sizes and colors. Um, if you look at the color, uh, the ones that are violet or white are the higher energy spectrum. So that's what they call a shorter wavelength, higher energy. And many times those are angels, guides, ascended masters, and could even be individuals you knew that were, were highly intuitive or wonderful light workers when they were here. But uh, and as you get more towards the yellow, orange, red spectrum, that's a little bit lower energy, not bad energy, uh, the size does have an effect. So uh, the energetic strength has a lot to do with the size. The larger orb, certainly angelic beings, sometimes family members that were very loving to you. Uh, a lot of pets can be smaller orbs in nature. So uh, size, color has a lot to do with energetic level and the, the ability of those individuals or the strength of their ability on the other side to kind of come through. 32, hello, Sterling and team. I recently watched a TV program about unexplained situations, and one was about a TV program in the UK that was interrupted by some kind of message coming from extraterrestrials as a message to humanity on November 26, 1977. Is this true? No, um, this, this was a complex hoax uh, developed by highly technical people uh, that knew how to kind of interrupt uh, transmitter signals. So uh, supplant, insert uh, new transmitter signals in, in another transmitter. So quite a high level of technology, but I'm not, not getting that this this is real. Um, kind of a wonderful, clever hoax, but but not real. 31, hi, Sterling. Recently, Paul Singer, owner of Elliott Management, a hedge fund and major donor to Republicans has now set his sights on Southwest Airlines. He bought up a large amount of stock and has now started pushing out board members and others. Elliot claims he wants to make Southwest better, Southwest Airlines that is. Do you do you and your team see a complete takeover by Elliot and Paul Singer? And if so, will flight attendants, pilots, and other employee groups experience a mass layoff? It does appear this group is going to be successful in gaining the lion's share of stock and control of the company. And unfortunately, it looks like they're actually going to, they will be successful in replacing the CEO. It looks like they're going to try to re-level the company. I don't think it's all going to be bad. I don't necessarily see mass layoffs, but I do see a real restructuring of the company here. So it looks like they'll be successful in their efforts to gain majority control um, and and try to create some sort of a future for Southwest Airlines. I guess maybe why they're pushing so hard, they don't think Southwest Airlines is on the right track or trajectory, but looks like uh, they're gonna have some success here uh, in, in gaining control. 30, with the addition of Russian submarines in the areas of Alaska and the West Coast, is there any danger of Russia attacking the US in the near future? Don't see any direct attacks, but I see a lot of conflicts, like regional conflict um, uh, between a lot of naval vessels, submarines, naval ves vessels around this whole buffer zone. It looks like uh, Russian subs have, have moved in what's called, like I guess, an international buffer zone or something. So there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of uh, regional conflict, but it's not going to break out in a large scale war. Twenty nine. Hi, Sterling and team. It was reported recently that the James Webb Telescope discovered a massive object that's course correcting with a trajectory towards Earth with an expected arrival in 2034. Is it an asteroid or an ET spacecraft? Will it be a threat to Earth? 
and its inhabitants. So this is like a dovetail in an earlier question, but um, this is just one of millions of intelligently controlled objects that are in outer space that the James Webb Telescope, they're picking up, again, a microcosm, a small percentage. Nothing to worry about here, no direct threat to humanity. 28, Alberta, Canada is not only home to devastating wildfires that take down entire towns, but devastating hailstorms in which hail the size of golf balls and tennis balls caused billions of dollars of damage in damages. A hailstorm this summer literally blew through a strengthened glass atrium at our airport in the passenger lounge area. Thankfully, no one was injured. Will there be ways in the future to alleviate the extreme weather so that people, animals, and crops, buildings, towns are not damaged by these weather events? Uh, no direct ways to change this right now, but a lot of collective efforts in, in turning around the climate change effects will be successful. So it's a real limitation of greenhouse gases worldwide. This is a problem worldwide, uh, but it's going to take about two decades for a lot of this to turn around. Good work is already starting, but it's going to take a while before we curtail kind of the major weather effects. 27, what will be the outcome of the trial just concluded in Nevada regarding the distribution of assets of the Ru of Rupert Murdoch's media empire? Does it matter that James Murdoch, his second oldest son, endorsed Vice President Harris? I mean, it appears when, when all of this is said and done, I think the court case may have already concluded, that looks like Lachlan Murdoch, the elder son, um, will, will have control over a lot of the Fox assets. Um, so that they're showing me is that when, when I guess all this gets revealed to the public and then long term here, that Lachlan Murdoch, the elder son, uh, will be in control once the elder Murdoch uh, passes away. 26, hi, Sterling and team. Can you tell us what happened to Malaysia Flight 370 that disappeared off radar? Radar. I can. I've read on this about three different times. Happy to talk about it again. My team always said there was a massive uh, lithium-ion battery explosion in the cargo hold, and that compromised satellite systems, navigation systems, control systems on the aircraft. I know there's a lot of uh, interesting information out there, but it looks like somebody deliberately changed course of the aircraft. Uh, but my team has always said inherently this wasn't a suicide mission, uh, that it was a lithium battery explosion in the cargo hold. Now, as far as finding Malaysia Flight 370, my team has always said it's going to be hundreds of miles further north of where they're looking. So where they're looking in the Indian Ocean, the aircraft actually will be found, what's left of it, uh, hundreds of miles north of where they've been looking. And actually, this discovery is going to be made over the next one to two years here. They're finally going to actually going to find the aircraft. Use a lot of uh, deep sub technology, deep submarine technology. 25, dear Sterling and team, my question is about the ancient gods of India, specifically Indra and Brahma, respectively. After years of study, I can only conclude that these gods were of extraterrestrial origin if this is so, or was this so, or are they simply fictional characters? They were all absolutely extraterrestrials. And I've kind of read on this a few times. It's interesting how many uh, godlike figures, if you will, uh, in history were actually extraterrestrial. To go back thousands of years ago, even, you know. So it, it's interesting. These were all extraterrestrials. 24, hello, Sterling and team. Were the Great Pyramids of Egypt built by extraterrestrials or by humans with extraterrestrial technology? Uh, answered this before, but they were uh, humans using ET-guided anti-gravity propulsion devices. So that allowed them to kind of lift a tonnage of rock and whatnot to help build the pyramids. And the pyramids were built as power sources. So they actually garnered energy uh, from the atmosphere and from ground, and they're actually around magnetic centers in the earth. And so they form like big power stations, like also like big batteries to contain energy. 23, in your next life, can you choose to be an extraterrestrial instead of a human? We actually already touched on this, but if you started out as an extraterrestrial millions of years ago, you have that ability to go back and forth. Um, so it's a unique life path if you start out as an extraterrestrial. So if you start out in kind of a human form, uh, going way back millions of years ago, you can't transfer into an extraterrestrial form. 
22, hello, Sterling and team. Using the example of Gettysburg's residual hauntings of soldiers from the war, what is the purpose of residual apparitions going about their business from the past? Is an imprint on the land, is it to give us a glimpse in the past to show us there's another dimension or plane? Um, these are not actually all residual uh, apparitions. These, are, in many cases, are real apparitions, uh, individuals that actually feel a fondness for that location, a responsibility location. That's where they come around. So I wouldn't call them residual hauntings. These are actually spirits, large soul groups that still come around those areas. And, and yes, I mean, for people that experience it, it's it's a way to peer into another dimension uh, to understand that, you know, life goes on. Life is, life is a continuum. There is no birth. There is no death. But there's certainly a large soul group that passed around Gettysburg, like the Holocaust, like 9-11. But they do come around in a, in a way to kind of show honor to that area, help give people insight. But someone called it residual haunting again. These are kind of loving uh, apparitions showing themselves. 21, I have a question about connecting with your guides. Sometimes when I have a situation I'm anxious about, it's hard to remain calm and open to try and talk to them. If you just speak out loud to them like they're another person in the room or explain to them in your mind what's happening and what you want help with, do they hear you and understand you or do they have to be a certain vibration? No, they absolutely hear you every time. And, and I always tell people, when you're trying to learn to communicate with your guides and angels, do it directly, talk out loud. Say out loud, ask your primary angels and guides to please step forward and reveal any messages they have for you or ask them for a specific help. It's an unwritten law of the universe that a lot of times guides and angels are not supposed to step in necessarily to help you. Doesn't mean they won't, you're not going to leave the planet. But, you know, if you want help in a specific area, please help me with this meeting coming up. Please help me with this individual. When you ask for specific help, they absolutely hear you. And when you have the right intention behind it, put the energy behind it. They absolutely will help you. They can always hear you. 20. Hi, Sterling and team. A few years ago, I woke up, looked out the window, and saw a large triangular-shaped craft hovering several hundred feet near our house. It had white lights on each corner and a large pulsating red light in the center. Who were they? And do they have a message for me? Um, these were not extraterrestrial ships, but this was a reverse engineered like U.S. military uh, aircraft, actually reverse engineered from a Palladian like mothership. No direct message for you, but they were kind of moving through the area, kind of doing some surveillance. 19, hello, Sterling. This past spring, my daughter and I went on a short trip to visit my son in Miami. Because his place is a studio apartment, she and I stayed at an Airbnb condo unit in a high-rise. Nice place, great location. However, during our first night, my daughter experienced terrible dreams all night. I fell into a deep sleep but was awakened twice by crashing sounds. I was very groggy as I tried to sort out what I'd heard. First time, it sounded like something crashed through the window and another time like something crashed down in the kitchen however my daughter never heard it was this from a negative energy present do you suggest that we bring something when traveling to clean or clear the room you know um this was residual energy in that location it looks like there was a crime committed in that location so that energy could be a little heavy sometimes you know from an aromatherapy standpoint if you want to bring a little sage with you next time that's always a good way of kind of you know calming down energy uh, nothing evil, you know, no prankster spirit there, but looks like a residual energy kind of imprint in that area. They happen all the time. It's it's analogous to somebody taking, you know, like a can of paint and throwing it all over the walls of a room, right? So uh, the paint dries, the next person that comes in there sees the paint, paint all thrown all over the room. Uh, so you you actually can bring a little sage next time, you know, whatever, in fact, whatever relaxes you from an aromatherapy standpoint, but there's some residual energy in that location. And it looks like there was a crime committed there. Number 18, will there be justice? Uh, will there be justice for all the people involved with P. Diddy? Well, no, not really. Um, there's going to be a group of individuals that are certainly going to be go through long court cases resulting in prison time. Um, if, if we call justice, you know, individuals uh, observing, let's say people that have 
had crimes perpetrated against them. If justice is watching these individuals, then, you know, go to prison. That, that, I guess that's a form of justice. But I think they're asking here, will there be justice for all the people involved? Uh, no, not all the people involved. We're talking about thousands here, okay? Uh, but we, you're going to see convictions, long legal cases, prison time. 17, are marriage partners from the same soul family? In many cases, yes, because uh, when you're married to somebody, that, that's definitely a soulmate. And we have many soulmates who go through life. Some are best friends, some are boyfriends, girlfriends, even bosses at work. Soulmates come in many forms. But in a lot of cases, if you're married to the person, a lot of, a lot of the sessions I do, thousands of people, uh, many times, not only are they a soulmate in this lifetime, but you've actually gone through like four or five or six or seven or 10 lifetimes with the individual you're with. Many times you're spouses in a prior lifetime, sometimes siblings. So yeah, usually you're from the same soul family. 16, will my abusive exes who's passed away still be around me if I don't want him to be around me. After I think about him, I usually end up saying something like, go away, or I don't want you near me. Do spirits actually listen uh, if we tell something like we want them to stay away? Yes, I mean, all, all entities on the other side are in a love space, so they respect. So if you tell any entity, any spiritual, any ex, uh, to move away, not to bother you. Ask your primary angels and guides to come in. Stand in supreme, protective, white light. Those things are very helpful. Yes, uh, it, with intention, if you tell individuals to stay away. And people don't haunt individuals. My experience is that a lot of time people are trying to make up for situations or or trying to offer some sort of comfort. But I understand people don't always want comfort from certain individuals. Everybody will on the other side will respect your request. Do with intention, they'll stay away. 15, is there a likely possibility that 45's bad health, mental or physically, could necessitate his withdrawing from the race? Uh, no, I mean, my team's always seen that he moves through the complete process. And I, I read on this like four years ago um, that I felt like 45 would be the primary GOP candidate, move through the whole process, be on the election ballot, and, and move through the entire process, but lose the presidential election in all aspects. So he loses by popular vote. He loses by electoral vote count. Uh, Kamala Harris will be the winner, presidential winner. Uh, but I've always seen he moves through the entire process and then eventually uh, forms a little bit of an escape route to the Middle East. 14, hello, Sterling and team. I am amazed seeing videos where animals like dogs and cats are able to communicate with audio buttons. Will this be more common in the future? Will there be additional ways to communicate with our pets? Yes, uh, all animals can learn to communicate with that button system, if you've seen that, where they might have a group of, let's say, 12 buttons, and one says yes, no, want to go for a walk. Animals are highly intelligent. They're very intelligent. And yes, within a few years, there's going to be uh, devices uh, that will lie to communicate directly with your animals. They'll read some of the energy from the animal, uh, and actually from that interpretation of the energy being given off from the animal, they'll interpret kind of what the animal is saying, yes or no, or uh, I'm hungry, some basic things there. You'll be able to communicate with animals. Within five years, there's going to be some handheld devices here. I feel there's already some being developed right now. 13, hello, Sterling and team. When I was a child, I had many paranormal experiences that were extremely strange. One instance in particular was a spirit that visited me who would sing the happy birthday song, but they would sing it to themselves, singing happy birthday to me. Who was the spirit that would visit me? Um, this was a, a like a great grandfather for you. This is like uh, on your father's side. So great grandfather on your father's side, paternal side. Um, really kind of a loving, funny guy. Uh, <laughs> it looks like he liked to sing that only because he, he thought it was funny, funny to sing it to himself. And uh, he thought it brought, it brought joy to people around him. 12. Hello, Sterling. You mentioned that ETs have a lovely, dry sense of humor. That's true. They're also very cerebral. Therefore, are they able to do things purely for enjoyment? After seeing humans and their fascination for sports, art, music, and so on, have we rubbed off on them to remember times they too had 
uh, aesthetic passions. Um, you know, they, they actually they still enjoy all of these kinds of art forms throughout the galaxy. So um, they actually didn't learn anything from it. We actually learned from them. Uh, it kind of got passed down to us. So they actually enjoy all these types of, let's say, artistic, creative, uh, relaxation, entertainment endeavors that we currently enjoy. 11, hello, Sterling and team. Montana's Secretary of State left off Kamala Harris's name on the absentee ballots of overseas voters recently. Will there be further interference from the GOP supermajority of Montana? And will Democrat uh, Busby, looks like Busy or Buzz, Buzzy, be elected over current GOP Governor Gianforte? Looks like uh, Bussy will win the election, and it looks like whatever's going on in Montana may have already been corrected right now. So whether they correct it through some electronic means or online means or something here, um, that's already been corrected. Uh, I think, and then you're also asking, will there be more uh, shenanigans? Yeah, a few more things going on in Montana, but looks like they'll be uncovered, okay? 10. Hello, Sterling and team. Thank you. I live near a retail area where I used to love to walk from shop to shop. I like seeing all the people shopping, getting ice cream and hanging out. But now many of the shops are closing or been closed. Will this kind of in-person retail ever thrive again? Well, actually, the majority of retail is going to move to more e-commerce online experiences. So the brick and mortar store experiences are going to start to go by the wayside, except for some very selected areas. So like uh, major tourist areas like Las Vegas or something, you're going to see, you know, large, a lot of, you know, uh, brick and mortar retail. But by and large, over the next number of years here, uh, a lot of kind of local retail shopping is going to go by the wayside and you're going to see a lot more e-commerce online and even drone deliveries, right? A lot of aircraft drone deliveries of packaging. So yeah, we're, we're going through a big paradigm shift now in that area. Nine. Hello, Sterling and team. Back in June of this year, I was out very late at night walking my dog. And when I saw two extraterrestrials up ahead, they looked like two bluish individuals, but also bright white near human like human figures, looking right at me. They slowly swayed side to side, and their arms appeared to be waving at me. As I tried to quickly walk closer, my dog, uh, an 80-pound pit bull who was a deep, loud, menacing bark, started barking furiously once he saw them, forcing me to turn back. Uh, when I looked over my shoulder, uh, a few split seconds later, they had disappeared entirely. Were these actually ETs, as I believe they were, and were they trying to make contact with me again, or was it something else? These were actually, uh, these were ETs in the area. They look like Palladian. They sound like Palladians to me, is what I'm hearing. Um, but they had they had really no business with you. They were moving through the area for some other reason. A lot of times there's surveillance or connection with somebody else working with them in that area. Uh, so really nothing direct at you per se, but you did experience two ETs. Eight. How will 45 supporters react if he loses the election? Do you perceive a large unrest in the company? I'm sorry, in the country. Well, unfortunately, yes, there'll be a lot of massive unrest in, in pockets of the country. You're going to see riots. And yeah, unfortunately, this will be curtailed, though, by the military, the National Guard. You know, you're going to see a lot of um, sorry losers, so to speak. Uh, but yeah, it, it's all going to be curtailed by the military and the National Guard. Seven, hello, Sterling and team. Huntington's disease has been known to ravish families, including mine. Will there ever come a day when there's a cure or at least a slowing down of the progression? You know, there are like seven major diseases uh, that COVID's going to tackle right away. I'm sorry, uh, CRISPR technology is going to tackle right away. Genetic technology. Um, so Huntington's disease is one of them. Cancer is another one of them, uh, muscular dystrophy, AIDS, uh, a lot of blood disorders, cystic fibrosis. There's like seven major diseases right away. You can see CRISPR. So on the list here is Huntington's disease for me of like kind of the major seven that will be tackled right away. So look for that over the next eight to 10 years kind of a thing here. A lot of, and the blood diseases, you know, uh, create, there's a, covers a lot of areas there in the blood disease uh, category. Um, so the answer is yes, whoever asked this question regarding uh, Huntington's disease. Six, 
Hello, Sterling and team. Almost everywhere I've lived, I've experienced paranormal activity such as being pinched, a uh, floating, very transparent head, and curtains moving violently in the room. Now my new place, I had to put crystals and other protections in order to sleep in my bedroom. Do spirits follow you when you move? They do, but you know these are family members following you around. A lot of times I see family members from the other side trying to follow individuals around as a way to help or give support or inspiration. Now you can ask them to leave and, and not come around because it's kind of giving you uh, anxiety. Uh, but these are family members. I think the question you're asking, do spirits follow you around? You know, especially family members will absolutely follow you around, but th there's a benevolent nature to the why they're following you around, trying to give you some peace and comfort. It doesn't always come across that way. I get it. Because um, people are, if they aren't used to seeing apparitions or dealing with the other side, uh, it can give you anxiety. Ask them all to step back. Five. <clears throat> Some people are almost paranoid about coexisting with ETs, as in they are trying to enslave us or use us at best. What do you say to someone who is scared? Uh, they're all they are not trying to enslave you. There's a lot of benefits occurring right now around free energy, medical science, gene editing. Uh, no, none of the extraterrestrial species are trying to enslave humanity. Uh, for lack of a better term, they have better things to do. They're actually trying to save Earth right now. So uh, this has all become very normal. Within a few years, it'll be very normal, uh, engaging and interacting. So uh, yeah, but they're not, none of the races are trying to, none of the species are trying to enslave humanity. For High Sterling, I want to ask about the fault line up the West Coast from Vancouver Island, Canada to California. Do you see a timeline for the next big earthquake? Uh, it, it is within the next five years, but it could occur. This particular earthquake fault you're talking about by about the year 2029. It could be 2028, 2029. Uh, there's, uh, there's other larger earthquakes that occur in California around the San Andreas Fault. Uh, that, that seems started to occur. We even saw some around the borders of California with other states. Uh, but to answer this question, this that particular fault looks to me like it's more 2029. Three, hello, Sterling and team. There are many messages from those claiming to see the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus. In particular, I'm asking about the village of uh, Medhurgorje. I'm sorry, it's M-E-D-J-U-G-O-R-J-E. Medhurgorje, I think it is, in Bosnia. Okay, it's in Bosnia. They report six children appeared in 1981 and still appear today to these children. Is Mary really appearing? If so, why the mixed messages of punishment? Um, you know, this is all based on folklore is what I'm getting. So uh, these six children did experience like an angel apparition, but not the not the Virgin Mary. I think we're asking a Virgin Mary, mother of Jesus. And a little bit of folklore built up around this. I'm getting that this is a highly religious area in Bosnia, uh, maybe a highly uh, Catholic uh, uh, or in religion in this area. But my, my team's saying very religious, and so it's like trying to believe something uh, out of some folklore here. So it's, you know, but I'm not getting this is not uh, Virgin Mary appearing. And number two and number one in the countdown, I always take notes before I start the show, so we'll go through those with you. Number two, what do you see coming up this week? Uh, obviously, the national vice presidential debate will take place uh, between J.D. Vance and Tim Walls. Uh, and in the end, I do see it's going to be a draw for both sides. Both sides will claim tremendous victory. We talked about this earlier, uh, but it's not going to have a, any kind of a material effect on the presidential election, uh, but the VP debate will take place. I, I see new global, a new earnest effort here around new global peace talks because we're going to see a real escalation and violence in the Middle East. And I, I talked about this last week the end of the show saying there's going to be a real escalation of violence in um, Lebanon, which we saw this week. And uh, so a lot going on there, but I see a new escalation, a lot of countries coming together to try to facilitate global peace talks for the Middle East. Uh, okay. New Biden administration laws, new ones being proposed for the Supreme Court ethics reform. So bigger, another big push here for Supreme Court ethics reform. Uh, swift signing of the new continuing resolution, the budget resolution uh, for the U.S. Now, I've seen reading on this uh, like a year ago or even two years ago, uh, we kept asking about the budget approvals. My team always said continuing resolutions, CR, CRs, 
kicking the can down the road. So it looks like another CR been approved by Congress. And I see swift signing of that. Uh, yeah, I think maybe it's October 1st that will get signed. I'm not sure. Uh, new national disaster designations for parts of the East Coast to the Hurricane Helene. Well, something about, it looks like some of these areas are going to experience uh, disaster designations so they can get more resources in the area. And number one in the countdown, do you have anything your guides want to share? Start creating a peaceful, centered experience for yourself in any way that helps you achieve this state of mind. And then this will propagate out to the world. Watch your thoughts, because all thoughts eventually manifest into your reality. Create the reality you desire. And on that note, that concludes the show. It'll be recorded today on Saturday, the 28th of September, 2024. It'll be released and posted live to the channel on Sunday, September 29th, 2024. Uh, as always, if you need to reach me, go to sterlingpsychicmedium.com. Look for the book a session tab. Again, dates available March, April, May now in 2025. If you'd like to join our, our real uh, live streaming on Fridays, our Platinum Membership, the join button is on the front page of the YouTube site, Sterling Psychic Medium, as well as the home page of our website, sterlingpsychicmedium.com. There's an easy join button there. And on that note, that's going to conclude the show. I'm going to send out a lot of goodwill and tremendous love to you and your families. Take care. I will see you all again very soon. <music>